Hey guys, so I just wanted to come back and give you an update on my hair loss. I know I hadn't done it uh, yet because I was waiting to make sure um, that it was over with, that it was done. Um, I didn't want to get too happy and say, hey, it stopped and then now, then it started or it kept on, it continued. Anyway, uh, I just washed today. I shampooed with the Cum Cur Kinky Curly Cum Clean. I conditioned like normal with the VO5 and detangled. I deconditioned with um, my Jane Carter Revitalizing Nourishing Deep Treatment. I'm not sure if that's the exact title, but I'll put it on the in the info. And then um, I left it on for a few hours. I've rinsed and detangled and this is my hair loss. It's a week's worth and this is a cherry. So if you could tell, this is normal for me. So when I showed you the last video, and I'm going to try to put a picture in of the small tomato that I had with the hair loss that I had in a week's worth, I think, maybe even less. I'm not exact. I don't remember exactly, but I will find it. Um, this is a big difference. I wish I could have it side by side, but I will try to insert a picture of the tomato and the hair loss at that time. So it's back to normal. And the conclusion I have come to and we have come to is just because of the diet I was on, it kind of threw my body into shock to where it shut down my hair follicles and released a lot of the hair that I had on my head. Anyway, um, once I got back on, the diet was for 43 days. So as soon as that was over, um, I guess my hair follicles woke back up and did whatever they needed to do. Anyway, I'm not going to get technical into it, but um, the hair losses has stopped and it's back to normal as far as the shedding, but my hair is still kind of dry. My conditioner, sometimes I can tell that it's not really doing too much and that's why I've been trying to find different conditioners to add some moisture. But today it's not that bad. I did want to do a rinse in order to darken my hair a little bit. The fall is coming and I also figured if I did a darker rinse, maybe it would make my hair look a little bit more dense. I'm trying to figure out a new routine to use while, until my hair thickens back up. Um, as of right now, I'm just doing conditioner and oil, very light conditioner and oil, and that seems to give it more volume and more, um, more volume basically is what I'm looking for because I'm used to, I'm used to having big hair, big thick hair, and right now that's not happening. So any of you fine haired ladies have any suggestions for me, I will appreciate them. If there's any products that you use that you just, and they're your HG, for fine hair, please let me know and I will try them and see if they work for me. Right now, um, I did a haul on the Curls Cream Brulee and I tell you I love the way it smells, it smells like coconut. Um, this is working okay. I'm going to use this today after um, I do the rinse. I'm going to do my nighttime routine with just this and a little bit of oil. I mixed up some of, my, some of my own oils. I still have my wild hair growth oil that I mix with castor oil. But I made up my own little oil because it's a little bit lighter. Like I said, my hair is real fine. So anything heavy is just going to weigh it down. In the last video, I used the Curls Cream Brulee with my um, Or Smooth and Hold Pudding. And it was so weighed down. I mean, it looked nice, but it was so weighed down that... I didn't like it. So um, this time I'm just going to use this a little bit of this by itself and a little bit of oil which I made up of a little bit of shea butter oil, jojoba oil or jojoba oil, however you pronounce that, um, my Moroccan oil and then I used um, olive oil 
and coconut oil. That's what's mixed in here. And I've been using that just very lightly, kind of scrunch it in my hair.